Yes, hello. Yes, Mr. Ali, how are you? I'm fine, thanks. How are you? I'm fine. You are live on air, and uh, we were saying Muslim, they say Muhammad is in the Bible as a prophet, but shouldn't you prove to me first that he is a prophet? What do you think? Um, yes, of course, if someone claims to be a prophet, he first needs to fulfill the things that okay. the prophet well, how, how Muhammad he... became a prophet? Give me a reason to believe Muhammad is a prophet. Go ahead, I'm listening. Um, for me, in my opinion, a prophet is somebody who claims he has a message from God and just he claim, convinces I mean, I people claim, with this message. And I can claim that too. I mean, if somebody just a claim, I mean, anyone can claim. There's many people they claim to be these days, even these days now, they claim to be prophets. Yes, of course, you're right. But I mean, um, the message of God is usually different from those of. Uh, I mean, if like a prophet what? says like something is usually different from that. What people what about, say, right? What about a guy? He ad ad advised the followers, the the females, to give their breast to a stranger, and they should suck it ten different times. Is that from God? Um, of course, in my opinion, and um, I heard um, this before that you mentioned this. I watched almost all of your videos. That's why I know most of the things that you said. Um, but for me, in my opinion, it's not. I just want to uh, mention that I'm a Shia Muslim. I'm not a Sunni Muslim. Oh, you are a Shia um, Muslim. That's even better, my friend. So let us talk about Shia. Are you, well, yeah, I would like are you very well versed in the Shia books or you are so-so? Um, very well versed. Like, I'm not an Arab, first of all. I'm Iranian, so... You are welcome, my friend. I, I like Iranian yeah. people. I respect them a lot. Welcome, yeah. welcome, my friend. So you are the Shia, yeah. right? Okay. And the books of the Shia uh, have more horrible stories than the Sunni books. Uh, as an example, you know the book is called Tafsir uh, al uh, al-Bayan? Yes, yes, I've heard of it. All right. Uh, it says there, that one of the messenger of Allah miracles that when he do uh, uh, excuse my language when he do poopoo -poo, the okay. earth will open and will eat his poopoo -poo, and his pee smell like perfume mm. Mm. okay what, um, what do you but think about I'm that? not quite sure. Like, in, uh, um, I tried to search for this answer, but I mean, do Shia Muslims are also things which is called Sahih and Raif and all this stuff? Yeah, but this is Sahih. Because, this yeah, is because their, usually this I is see, their best uh, I most of, like, in the Shia Islam, it's like when we hear something from the family of the Prophet, we usually accept it no matter what it says. So, um, obviously, if I hear something like this, it sounds very funny and stupid to me. Hmm. Um, okay, so how you as a Shia you can verify for me that Muhammad was a prophet? Um, as I said before, for me, in my opinion, it's because of the message that, that he basically gave, um, the message for like, like all mankind. Like what? That Give me one. Give me one thing fit to be good for all mankind. Like what? Killing each other? No. Okay, uh, but Muhammad he says. Other, but Muhammad he says that he have to kill all the Christians, all the Jews in the Quran. Yes or no? Um, like my opinion, it's more about in the context of this. How it, when no, he said my this, friend, the verse is so clear. You read it. Uh, you know, you know how to read English. Yes, yes, I know. All right. I'm watching so the YouTube. in chapter nine, it says verse number twenty-nine: Fight those who don't believe in Allah. As simple as that. Not those who fight you. No, fight those who don't believe in Allah from the Christian and the Jews until they pay the jizya. Okay. Fight them, so, which means fight and to um, kill. Fight to kill about those Christian and those Jews, which. Um, you know, uh, Allah expect them to fight the Muslims one day. Uh -huh. Okay. But Maybe Allah fighting. knows that these people will see, one day is the one, become stronger. It is, it is Muhammad is the one who attacked them. What the Muslim expecting them to fight them one day? I mean, this is uh, this is funny. He just said, "Fight those who don't believe in Allah, nor by Muhammad, nor by the religion of the truth, which means supposed to Islam, until either they convert or they pay." It's a gang mentality. So why, if I pay you, you let me live? You don't care yeah. if I believe or not. If I pay you, I can stay as a Christian. And, yes. okay, I will worship Jesus as God. So why Muhammad is concerned about me paying him and I will mm -hmm. stay alive? Is that because he's a gang leader? Mm, because maybe he thought, like, if some, because there would be some people, because they're afraid, they would say, yeah, okay, I will convert to Islam. Mm. Because maybe he knew that he implemented this rule because he was also a state. So you are saying he is the one who implemented this rule, not Allah. 
I, there was no hard to answer for me because I think what he did was through like okay, can you read for me can you read for me the verse before it verse number 28 um, uh, yes can you scroll a bit up it's yeah, still on 29 it's in front of you in the first 28 yeah verse number 28 okay, no. yes hmm. yeah oh ye who believe truly the pagans are unclean so let them not after this year of theirs approach the sacred mosque and if you fear poverty soon will allah enrich you if he wills how allah how is bounty for allah is <laughs> allah all knowing okay. our words. and if you fear poverty you know what does that mean right you will get poor yes, okay yes. what is the solution attack the christian and force them to pages here yeah, do you see it so it was about money yes mm -hmm. so muhammad is not ordering to do jihad for the sake of allah is ordering to do jihad to steal the money of the Christian and take them as bounty and take their money so he the Muslims they will not be poor. So it was not a solution to spread Islam, it was a solution to enrich you. That is a gang leader, my friend. Yeah. And the verse is in front of you. This is the Quran. Yes, and so what does the scholar say about this? I don't care what the scholar you can like tell me you are a Shia, you know, you can open any Shia, but it's it's, it's obvious. Is it obvious you are a smart yeah, person? Yeah. You are you're, you know you are an adult. You can tell. Okay, here we go. Now we forbid the the the, the uh, pagans from entering the Mecca. So now no business, trade business will be gone. We kill the the Jews run away, the Christian run away, and now we will not have money. So he said, okay, don't worry, Allah will enrich you. Go attack the Christians, attack the Jews, and take their money. So it was not for God. It was for filling their belly with the chickens, and cheese kebab. Okay, so um, now I have, okay, yeah, I understand your point in this, and I'm, I'm quite not sure what to answer about this. But I want to say, so why did Mom, uh, Mom just mention the Christian and the Jews? I mean, on the world, there were many other people, right? So Thank you. Why it's additional proof that Muhammad, Muhammad is a Buddhist false prophet because he's a false prophet. Around him, there's nobody except those. So, so he said the Christian and the Jews. He never mentioned the Hindus. He never mentioned the Buddha. He never heard of them. Secondly, in different verse on the Quran, just to show you how hypocrite Muhammad is. In the beginning, because now he did not need to reach the, the Arab following him, things was fine. So he said the Christians and the Jews will go to heaven. Is that correct? Yes. Okay. How those who they will go to heaven now today, we will kill them. How that change? Yesterday they will go to heaven. Today go and fight them and kill them and take their women and take their money. How that can, uh, can be true? Yeah, it can't be true. I mean, right? how, how this sounds now, it's like... Mm. Yeah, it, it sounds like when he was weak, obviously he wanted to say this and right. so when he became strong. So when he, he was weak, this. thank you very much. When he was weak, he was a hypocrite, and then he gets stronger. Now he do not need them. Okay, kill them all and take their money, correct? But I mean, what would be the other solution? I mean, if a prophet comes and from the beginning you know, he has a many prophet of God, my friend, a prophet of God, he stands to the truth, not to the money and the business. What solution? I mean, if God is with me, who could be against me? What will happen? I would die from hunger. Jesus died in the cross. So what is worse can be happening? He, still, he did not say, go and kill them. Still, he did not say, okay, go and kill every Jew. He's in the cross. He said, Father, forgive them. They do not know what they are doing. So he will go. He's in the cross. And he should be now cursing them, should be angry from them. I mean, what more is than putting nails in your, uh, in, in your hands, putting nails in your feet, uh, shoot, shooting you with the arrow, making you die slowly in the cross, crucify. This is what crucifixion is about, torture. They are torturing them alive. And yet he is thinking about how to save them. While Muhammad, you are saying yes. to me, it was a solution, and the solution is what to reach their belly. If they are truly believers, well, isn't it believing is about okay? Grow your goat, live in the desert as before, pray to Allah, have, live in peace. You do not need to attack the neighbors and take their women. Correct? Yes, that's correct. Okay. I understand this, but I might, but I, I struggle with this topic for a long time now. I mean, I watch almost all of the debates and. I just can't understand what I mean all of my friends are Muslims basically my family and everyone I know I mean on the world there are so many Muslims who who should know all this stuff but I mean why there's there, there has to be something why the Muslims still are not most of them are not bad people right I mean if this see, is the doctrine see, of the religion this, I, I, yeah, if this is friend, the main part friend. of the religion how is that possible Ali, Ali, Ali. I do not know you you do not know me correct and I am assuming yes, right. you are a good person this is not yes. about me and you, my friend. This is about belief. So, and belief will have an impact on you. So now, if Ali really believe in this, he is going to come and kill me. 
Belief can change you. Belief can make you either bad or good. So we have Muslims who they are Muslims by name. I, I just came from Europe. I went to Germany. Mm -hmm. I went to uh, many many countries, and I saw how Muslim girls wearing jeans, putting makeup. I mean, they are Muslims, but Muslim by name. Muslim men wearing a bracelet, and you know. Uh, wearing jeans and uh, they are not practicing Islam and nobody is praying and nobody listening to music blah 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 so Muslims are people like everybody but not everybody knows what his religion is the second you are a person who knows Islam very well there's one of two things either you will become like Isis or you will leave so you want to say that uh, like 99 percent of the muslims basically are they don't know you know nothing you yourself and then now with my respect to you you know nothing about islam yeah mostly that's true because i can't go through it all okay so, so um, you as a muslim just, you grow, you, or what you know you yeah. know a little bit about islam like uh, islam teach you to believe in one god there's a prophet his name is muhammad we have to pray five times blah 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 and then we as a shia we yeah. beat ourselves for uh, al Hussein al Hassan. they killed them blah 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 yeah. blah we cry for them and this is madness this is that you know but a human being is looking for refuge always and he seek refuge sometime either in something smart or something stupid like the ostrich the ostrich is a bird when he's when she when this mm -hmm. bird see the uh, the fox or the wolf coming she bury her head under the sand thinking that he don't see her but she is the only one don't see him and this is okay. what the muslims do they bury their head yes. under the sand and they say okay muhammad is a prophet the christian the christian prince is lying he's not telling the truth but it's in the front of you Okay, but I mean, simply like um, you know that the Shia, like we Shia, believe that um, the family of the Prophet, um, most of them, like twelve of them, got the like they got killed basically for spreading the Islam My friend, against the Sunni the, Muslims. The That's why of I the believe Prophet, so much in the Shia. Ali and Muslims. his children, they are more criminal than Muhammad himself. Ali, he burned people alive. What Ali? The Muslim, the Shia, and you know that the Shia are proud about how many people Ali killed. Correct. Yes. Okay, yes. so how are we talking about this guy? I mean, we are talking about what? We're talking about people serving God or about criminals? So we, our, our best man is, a, is an official butcher. He burned mm -hmm. people alive. And then we are proud about him. And not only that, the, the Shia have tons of stories. Like yesterday, we were talking about, they ask Ali uh, about uh, uh, things nobody know. A, monk, a Christian monk, I mean, I never saw people... With my respect to you, I'm not trying to insult you, but mm -hmm. Shia books is amazingly crazy. Just yesterday, we were uh, uh, showing people what the Shia say, that there's a Christian monk. He came to Ali and he asked him a question and he said to him, uh, 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 they, I will ask you about something. Nobody knows except mm -hmm. one person. And who is that person? Ali, for sure. And he asked him, what is the ladybug? The ladybug, according to Ali, is a woman. She, uh, uh, I forgot she was. She was what? Uh, she did uh, witchcraft, I think, <laughs> to, to her husband. <laughs> and the bear, he was, oh. he, he was a homo. <laughs> let me, oh, let me, man. let me put it on the screen. Hold on, let me, let me find it again. Uh, <laughs> let me put it on the screen so you can read with me. You don't know Arabic, right? No, I'm Yeah, know. okay. Uh, let us see. Uh, I will try. Here we go. Okay, I will open. Uh, I will. I will use Google Translation. Uh, because the the it's in Arabic, as you know, everything. In Arabic. You can do it in German. I, I know. German I don't know. Too. Okay. Well, but I, but I will not be able to read then. Then you have to read for me. Uh, okay, <laughs> you know, because the only German I know is <laughs> Ach, ich mach dich nacht. I don't know what is that mean. Don't ask me. <laughs> All right. So well, here yeah. it says, let us uh, let us uh, use Google Translation. But you know English, so we can use English, right? I mean, it's this uh, is this is for sure. Uh, translate to English. <clears throat> All right, here you will see they are saying they are, uh, the, this guy, this monk, supposedly he asked Ali about things nobody knows except one person only, and that is Ali. They want to be sure that this is the guy. So uh, he asked him, uh, he said, uh, I want you to tell me about those animals. 
there's 24 animals Allah he cursed or let's say uh, uh, 24 kind of uh, uh, human uh, Allah cursed them and make them into animals he started with the okay. elephant he asked him what is the elephant what he was he said Ali Ali is talking now mm -hmm. as for the elephant there was a man who come to the beast he do sex with the beast with animals so Allah curse him and make him elephant <laughs> and then uh, uh, about the rabbit the rabbit was a woman who did not do have does not wash after masturbation <laughs> so Allah make her a rabbit as for the bear he he was a, a feminine man he was a homo so Allah make him a bear as for the scorpion he was a man with two uh, uh, translation here is coming weird uh, as for the spider let me go to the Arabic the original Arabic uh, he was a person who speak about people in their in their back you know like he, he, he goes up you know? yes as for mm -hmm. the pigs the pig the pigs there were 700 men who ate on the table of Asa <laughs> and yeah, after they Jesus. ate in his table yeah. for 40 days they did not believe <laughs> This is a good one, no? <laughs> oh so they ate in the table of Asa for 40 days, and because they did not, be, and they are 700. I mean, how big the table of Asa, my friend? <laughs> this is bigger than all McDonald's in Germany together. <laughs> oh, yeah. so, and, and then he says, as for the monkeys, they were 500 men of the Jews who walked in the Sabbath. You see what happened if you walk in the Sabbath? <laughs> <laughs> and this is supposed to happen like this is Ali talking are you kidding me don't say that to the your Shia your family will kill you if you say this not happen don't make fun of it be careful be careful this is Ali my friend Ali Ali is talking as for the spider it was a woman which which is her husband <laughs> She do a witchcraft to her husband. This was the spider. It, like so it, it was a female. Movie. Yeah. No. And then as for the turtle, even the turtle, man, as for the turtle, it was a man who, uh, 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 well, the translation here is very weird. Uh, the turtle, uh, hold on. <clears throat> Where is the turtle? Yeah. Uh, he used to like play with the scale. Like when you buy tomato, you buy one kilogram. He like he's still one of them, you know what I mean. So he is not uh, on a decent in his business. So Allah made him a turtle. As for the lamb, it was a man who dig the graves to take the coffin of people from <laughs> after they die. He still the he still the clothes of the dead one. As for the ladybug, women she was a woman uh, who called her daughter-in-law husband to her bed. And actually, look at here. I mean, Ali must be must be right. Because Lady Bug, even in English, her name is Lady. <laughs> no, <man. laughs> but um, CP, I know um, these stories. I mean, there are tons of that could be lies as well. I mean, these are not the essence of a religion, right? I mean, my friend, what what what, what about this, the Quran? The Quran is the most stupid book ever. Have you ever, as an example, read chapter eighteen? I don't remember by heart, but if I see it, maybe I remember. Chapter 18, read it, and you will leave Islam. It is mm -hmm. the most stupid ever you can come with. I mean, the one who came with the chapter 18, either he's taking too much hashish, or he's drink, drinking mineral water oh, every yeah, day. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Look at this. Uh, 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 all the stories, with his fiction stories, Muhammad, he took it, he put it in the Quran. The Seven Sleepers, it's a fiction story written by a guy, his name is Yaqub, and he is from Syria. He is an Aramaic person. He wrote it as a fiction for the Christian we are discriminated. He said to them, that time will come when we will be victorious. Muhammad, he took the story, he put it in the Quran, the Seven Sleepers. Mm -hmm. But this is a fiction story written by a guy, we know his name, and the book is published all over in the world. And then, uh, look at the wisdom here. Some they say they are asking Muhammad. Okay, the seven staples. How many? How many they are? <laughs> Even the title of the story is seven sleepers. So how many? Look at this. Allah is talking now. Some they say they were three, and their dog is the fourth. And some they say they are five, and therefore, and their dog is number five. 
and their dog is number six. Some they say they are six and their dog is number seven. Say no one knows their number save Allah. I mean, what kind of this? What is that? I mean, what I don't. What is this? I mean, how how are we supposed Ali, to understand? Ali, imagine, this? imagine. You came to me to ask me how many are they those sleepers? I said to you, well, some they say they are three and their dog is number four, and some they say they are four and their dog is number five, and some they say they are five and the dog number six, and some they say they're they're seven and and, and they're six and the number dog is number seven. However, only Allah knows what is their real number and few. <laughs> So what is the numbers? What is what the point of this? What is the purpose of the first stupid, stupid story? And then not only that, he says, and they slept in the cave for three hundred years and nine. Mm. How come here he is so sure in the number of the years, but there he cannot tell us how many they are. And same time, mm. how you can say they are four and their dog is number uh, they are three and their dog is number four. This is wrong in Arabic and in English in any language. You don't count the dog as number four because dog is not a human. Yes, yes. correct. Yes. Like I can say that uh, I saw three guys and Ali was yes. number four. That is accurate yes. because there are three guys and he's a guy like them. So we, but we cannot say uh, and and uh, and, and uh, like uh, three guys and their dog is number four because this is stupid. He's a dog. The dog is number one between the dogs. We cannot count him as number four. And then the story continue, like you know, uh, uh, the flying carpet of Suleiman. Suleiman, uh, 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 you know, uh, Shaitan. He take his ring and he starts sleeping with his wives, doing boom, boom, boom. And then the wives they notice that Suleiman cannot be Suleiman because he's doing so good in the boom, boom. And Suleiman he cannot do good boom, boom. And then they told the elders. That Suleiman cannot be Suleiman because the boom boom of our normal husband cannot be the same because he's so good in doing it like he don't stop, you know. I mean, what kind of religion this religion is? Shaitan. Yes, sir, I mean. Who in the world yeah, accept that Shaitan is sleeping yeah. with the wives of a prophet? Yeah. And not only that, Shaitan, according to Islam, he take a look of a, of a prophet. He took the look of Suleiman. In in uh, uh, the for the for the Sunni, they agree that he took the look. Of Jibreel too, so how we can trust God if, if Shaitan can come to us as Jibreel? Shaitan he can take a look of Suleiman, or maybe he would take the look of Muhammad. How I can trust anything? Maybe Muhammad himself is a Shaitan. So what does this all mean now that in the cave to Muhammad, maybe the devil came and gave him all the story of his life? Yeah, there's a Shaitan. His name is Al Abiyad. The reason they call him Al Abiyad because simply he came as in a white color as Jibreel, but he's not white, so he changed his color. He changed his look, but by accepting this story, that's mean we cannot trust anything Muhammad brought to us because maybe it is all from this Abiyad person. Yeah. Okay, so you would say that it is like Islam is totally basically the devil basically gave it to Muhammad. Because we cannot know if 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 the Muslims agree that Shaitan he gave Muhammad verses and etc. and he came in the look of Jibreel. Then how we can trust that Muhammad he did not receive the whole thing from the same devil You see even in the books of the Sunni <clears throat> yeah. I can show you some source from the Shia too, but usually yeah, I mean I, I just show... I'm not only believing in the Shia sources I mean, I'm not so strict in that I okay. take hmm. basically uh, Muhammad he said that shaitan he command him to do good mm -hmm. Well, I mean how much convincing that Muhammad is a prophet Look at this. There's none amongst you with whom is not attached from amongst the jinn, the devil. The companion mm -hmm. said, Allah Messenger, with you too? Whereupon he said, Muhammad, yes, but Allah helped me against him and I am safe from his hand. He does not command me, but for good. Mm -hmm. How, is how how Muhammad is a prophet of God and the one is commanding him is shaitan yeah and how shaitan mm -hmm. he command good since when shaitan he command people to do good is shaitan he just said the devil yeah this is the good devil <laughs> yeah.
<laughs> so my friend Ali, why you don't say I'm out of Islam? Well, the problem, um, CCP, I, I thinking, I'm thinking a lot about it because it's about my soul, basically. You know, I, it's not something easy which I could decide. But I'm really having my doubts, to be honest. You know, I have my doubts about it. But there, I don't know. There are still some things which keep me on it. I don't know what it is exactly, but maybe you want to have uh, seventy-two versions. Actually, okay. See, I would say if it's okay if we uh, stay on this topic that you just said the seventy-two versions. I mean. Jewish. What is it? Okay, so you say in Islam to, uh, there are seventy-two I'm, versions. What I'm about here, like what happens uh, as a Christian, for example, if you die? Sorry, what happens if you die as a as a Christian, for example? That's a good question. Um, okay, you see here how we know if the person is speaking for God or not. Mm -hmm. God is not a pimp; he will not seduce me and tempt me by sexual activities. All of us we knew that, you know, sexuality. It can be good, it can be wrong. The bent you mm -hmm. are practicing that with who? God, when he gave us this gift, is for the order of having a family and to reproduce. Not for the joy itself, mm -hmm. which means sex was not the purpose. So Adam and Eve, they complete each other to make a family. However, in Islam, sexuality became the target, not God. When, yes. when they ask... Uh, 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 Jesus, okay, the, the Jews, because they think the same way as Muslims, you know, uh, oh. they ask Jesus, okay, there's a guy, he married a woman, uh, and then he, he, he passed away, uh, and then his, his brother, he married her, etc. Uh, so he's, who's going to have her in the heaven? Jesus said, in the heaven, in his kingdom, there's we will be the same as angels we will not marry or get married we will be the same as angel what does that mean that's mean uh, we will be free from our needs you see happiness is not about eating a falafel the one who made you uh, like or he creates something in your tongue to be able to taste food, he can give you better joy, correct? Yes. Okay, but this is not necessity or necessarily to be by eating falafel. So do mm -hmm. angels enjoy their life? Obviously, they are angels. They are happy. So we will be the same as angels, but angels are not eating. They are not drinking. They are not having sex, but yet they are happy creatures. So God will make us free. The first thing would be when you became the same as angel, which means you will not be an angel, but the same as angel. You will be free from your needs. Because sex is a need. Food is a need. Sleeping is a need. It's all is needs. It's not just uh, like a choice. Some of them is not even a choice. We have to do them. So when you will be the same as an angel, you are free from everything. In other way, God, he made you, he leveled you up from a human mm -hmm. who is slave of your needs to be a creature who is free of needs. So you live with God with happiness, but not because you need something from him. You are free. You do not need to eat. Yeah. You do not need to drink. Still, you are happy and your happiness cannot be described. So Jesus, he described that for us. And it is way higher than somebody Describing for me heaven as women created just for sex to be sex uh, a game and uh, eating uh, fruits and drinking wine and 80,000 little boys serving me. It's a child abuse. It's a women abuse. It's disrespect for our nature as a human. Yes, I well, heard you talking about yeah, this topic before, and I really find it disgusting how it is described the paradise. So, Ali, to why you don't leave Islam, my friend? Why you don't say today I am out of this cult? Yeah, I think I think I am out. Hallelujah! Here we go. Our friend Ali, he called us as a Muslim, and now he is not a Muslim no more. Ali. You just made a decision, and this is a very important decision. You don't want to be Muslim no more, and you just denounce Islam. You refuse it. So mm -hmm. why you don't accept Jesus? 
have you ever heard of a name better than his name have you ever heard of a teaching better than his teaching mm, I it's very good what I heard up to now about the our Jesus and the life of Jesus but I for example um, I have a question also about it because for example um, the, there is no book like in Islam right the four Gospels are not like just one book like in Quran right no it doesn't matter for books is for witnesses it's, it's still it's the same one, one book you see uh, when we say for books we are not talking about four messages we are talking about the same thing it's just for writers for witnesses and actually in Islam Muhammad he changed the law from one witness to four witness for adultery correct mm -hmm. okay so if adultery in Islam need for witnesses is not it better to have it for witnesses for God from one yes for sure for witnesses they confirm all of them the same thing that will make yeah. it more accurate and will confirm that it's not just one person maybe he made a mistake maybe there's something wrong there four witnesses all of them they are delivering the same message so that is yeah. a, is is better for us as a christian not for our bad it's for our good okay but see for example um, when i was like truly believing in islam and with and before i started doubting it i tried to obviously read about christianity and there was always the concept of the trinity right but i mean if the trinity is right i mean why is it then not so easy to understand i mean is there a reason why no, it's no, difficult actually, to understand you see, first of all god is a miracle god himself is a miracle do you know what miracle mean yes kind of yes what is miracle miracle is something which is unnatural basically but um miracle i don't know, is something I know what the miracle is but i don't know how no, to miracle is something we can't understand how it yeah, happened yes. right okay. yes okay god is a miracle so in order when you say i i cannot we cannot comprehend how mm. is a glory however the trinity is very easy if you look around you you see everything is created around us have a have the fingerprint or signature of god mm. as an example what do you the quran says that everything every living thing is uh, from water correct yes okay well mm. water is h2o yes Okay, three. Okay, well, why the water is a? Uh, 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 if you go the uh, the golden ratio, it is one to two, three. And why? Golden ratio is a, we are talking about science now. We are talking about uh, yes, you know, this is just the, the the ratio of a beauty, sig signature of God. All the trees in the world, all beautiful things in the world exist by based on the golden ratio, because there's one artist, one creator. Trinity is very simple. You know. Uh, I'm I'm going to do I don't know like uh, maybe I need to do some drawing but if we look at the Sun in the sky we have yeah. a star right mm -hmm. it's called the Sun and the reason we yes. call it the Sun uh, I mean we could say we have sunny day we have a, a rainy day so sunny day I mean we see the Sun so it is something we see yes. it is a star but there is a light coming from the sun which make us see the star correct yes otherwise the star will not be seen if there's no light yes of and then there is a heat come from the sun but we don't feel the heat the heat i mean we don't see the heat we feel it mm -hmm. correct yes correct there are three but all of them they are the sun the sun has a star the sun has light the sun has mm -hmm. heat still the sun okay. the sun as a star is there up in heaven the light is here in my room mm -hmm. in the same time it is there because it's coming from the same source which is the Sun in the same time there's something it's called heat we don't see we feel this is what is the Holy Spirit the Holy Spirit is the Spirit of God accompany us down in earth we don't see but we can feel when we believe the light is the Word of God that is Jesus he is the visible image of the invisible God God mm -hmm. in heaven because his glory is so amazing you cannot see him otherwise you will go you would you will die actually if you stare at the little tiny Sun which is tiny compared to compared to what is God blind. is you will go blind if you look mm -hmm. at the Sun for two minutes you will go blind so imagine mm -hmm. if God himself we are looking at 
So Trinity is very simple. God, he, he, he came to us in a visible image, which is the image of the Messiah. Mm -hmm. So the Messiah is nothing but the image or the, the, the visible image of the invisible God. Now, we believe in the same time that we have one God. But mm -hmm. can is it possible that God can be three? Three persons in the same time? Well, God, if he is God, then why we call him God if he cannot be? Yes, of course. You know, we, we call somebody almighty because he's almighty. Mm -hmm. That's mean there's no limit for what he can do or what he is. So if there is, if he is what he is, this is what he, he introduced himself to us. This is what he is. If there is a guy, he is from India. He's a Hindu. Let us say, he said, I have 1,000 God. And then we discover that, yes, there's 1,000 God. That will not change the fact that, yes, there is 1,000 God. It's not about the numbers, right? Yes. It is about the fact. So either we accept it that this is the fact or we refuse it. This is how God, he presents himself to us, that this is, I am I am one, yet I am a three person. Or we say, I'm not going to believe in that. However, everything the Messiah, he came with, the proof to us that this is true. You know, we as a Christian, we, you know, we feel the help, the Holy Spirit. And we saw the power of the Holy Spirit and we saw the power of Jesus and always the Holy Spirit is with Jesus said I will leave you and every two mention my name I will be between them which means I will be the third how he can be mm -hmm. with, you know between us by his invisible image well, what does that yes. mean we have we have God we have the Holy Spirit we have this we have the man which is supposed to Jesus so the Holy Spirit is with us always so he said I will go and I will leave with you the comforter and the comforter is the spirit. So God has a spirit in Christianity. God is a spirit in Christianity. Mm -hmm. God is capable of in Christianity. In Islam, no. The Muslim, they say to you, God don't have a spirit. Yes. Yet he is a physical being. But this is crazy. Because, and now the Shia actually is more horrible. Because the Shia, they say, he is not a physical being. But he don't have a spirit. So what he is? Nothing. What is that? Yes. You know? True. He's not a physical being, he is not a spirit. So Trinity is a very, very simple way to understand God, is is you know to 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 see the nature around us. We will we will find that the Trinity itself is what makes us live. You yourself, you know, like uh, uh, two days ago we were talking about uh, Muhammad phobia with the cross and uh, mm -hmm. things. Uh, but if you think you you yourself is a cross. <laughs> mm -hmm. Even without opening your hands, by the way, you know what I mean. Yeah. yeah Even sure. without opening your hands, you are a cross, and that will yeah. make you, uh, uh, you know. I mean, so we can find evidence of things around us if we just observe carefully, and we don't just take what people say to us. I don't want you to take what I'm saying to you. I want you mm -hmm. to think about it, which means don't make decision because a Christian prince he said things. No. You make decision yeah. because you think about it. And you agree with it, and then you say, "Okay, this is right or this is wrong." Yeah. No, I mean, uh, when I was a Muslim, I was super convinced of this. I mean, I was very strong in my belief and about everything what the people told me about Islam and what I read about it, and I listened to many Shia scholars and stuff. But since I started reading just about Muhammad himself, I started realizing there's something wrong. That's why my doubts actually started because how can he marry a good girl which was only six years of age, and just many, many horrible other things. And just if you compare Muhammad to Jesus, you can already see that between them there's a world difference. So we cannot compare. I was just comparing yeah. between Muhammad and Jesus is an insult to Jesus. Uh, yeah, you see, we, we have we have the holiness and we have the madness. We have while Jesus was forgiving his enemies in the cross, Muhammad was putting nails in their eyes and torturing them. And Muhammad, I mean, name one thing Muhammad ugly did not do. No. Not even, not even one thing he did not do. I mean, it's not ugly. No. Like, look, no. just, just to show you how Muslims they act. This guy, his name is Muslim proper. He's saying, uh, Chris CP, I am a cross right now. You see, they are making fun. I am a cross. No. Yes, you're, you're shape in the shape of a cross. You are being, no. a, you are being silly. He's making fun, but this is true. You are in the shape of a cross. No. Yeah. Actually, everything around you in this life is if you if you <laughs> uh, you know if you if you put a, 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 a like a glass in the front of the sun, you will see the light will come to you as a cross too. 
anything, mm -hmm. anything around you is crucifixion. And the crucifixion, the funny, they are making fun of the crucifixion. But Allah Himself, He chose to punish people by the cross. Yeah. And I mean, what was this story that the Muslims always keep saying, which is written in the Quran, that Allah made someone look like Jesus to die on the cross? I mean, wouldn't then Allah be the person who made the Christians even like he deceived exist? Them. Exactly, He deceived them. He's a liar, He's a deceiver. And that's why my book is called The Deception of Allah, because Allah is the biggest deceiver. It's what He says in the Quran. They they deceive and he deceive and he's the best of deceivers. So Allah he put someone look like Jesus in the cross in order to save Isa. But look, look how the Muslims they get their prophet busted. Jesus in the cross was saved. Muhammad dying was not saved. Yeah. Why? Why Allah he saved Jesus? He don't want to save Muhammad. And he died like his aorta was cut or something. He right. felt it like so that how way. how somebody okay the Muslim they say that the most beloved person to Allah is Muhammad. So Allah mm. saved Jesus, who is not the most beloved person to Allah, and he did not save the poor Muhammad for three four years suffering from this pain. He 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 vomited everything he eat, and Allah did not send. Uh, a clown to eat the goat instead of him? Yeah. No, Islam doesn't make sense. And what is this concept of the Mahdi, you know, which comes for the Shia? I mean, there's well, the Mahdi another, and the Mahdi coming. Another I mean, Shia, really this. another Shia fiction, you know. And Mahdi is a the Mahdi is a the, the uh, a person who was exist and the Caliphate he killed him obviously overnight. And those people, mm -hmm. poor people, they told him so they would not make revolution. They told him he's gone. He will be back. <laughs> like like Al Qazafi, he killed a Shia uh, a scholar. You know, he went to Libya. <laughs> Al Qazafi, he denied that he met him. <laughs> so the Caliphate, he killed this guy, and they they, they spread rumors. You know, like uh, the same as the 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 British intelligence, they they made the the guy Ahmad Mirza Ghulam, mm -hmm. uh, the Messiah. You know, mm -hmm. the the the, the British intelligence. When they were in India, the Muslim they start fighting against them, and then the as usual, this uh, this uh, you know big organization empire, they want soldiers to fight against those who they are fighting them from the Muslims. So what they did, they created Ahmad Mirza Ghulam. Ahmad Mirza Ghulam suddenly became the Messiah, sponsored by the British intelligence, and many start believing. And the first thing Ahmad Mirza Ghulam he said to them, join the British army. Yeah. The same as the Shia in, in many countries in the in the in the, in the Middle East. Yeah. The Shia, they have many prophets cre created, or let us say uh, holy men created by the French intelligence. The French they wanted people to fight with them or to be their soldiers. So they went to the poor Alawi, uh, poor Shia, and they, they chose their agent. And then the guy, he go and he put a lamp on his body. At that time, electricity was not known. He put a lamp in his body and here we go. The lamp is lighting and they bow down for him. And then after that, the guy, he says, if you want to serve Allah, you join the French army. And mm. That's it. So, so always religion is used for a purpose of agenda or propaganda. And Muhammad is no different. Muhammad, in the beginning, like... A few days ago, I was uh, reading an article written by Muslims, and the article saying that the Sabian are sh stars worshippers. Mm. Okay, so how Muhammad says in the Quran that Sabians will go to heaven? Mm -hmm. didn't really said that yet. Yeah. yeah, because he's a hypocrite. He's the same mm. as the French intelligence. When he mm. when they want, you are their friend, and they will make you God or a prophet. Just to make a bunch of fools to follow you, Muhammad. Mm. He is the same as those. When he want the Christian, the Jews, they will go to heaven. Even the Sabians who worship stars, they will go to heaven. That's when why the Muslims want, are not uh, like they don't know what to believe now. They, some of them say yeah. Christians go to heaven. Some of them say no. Like everyone is saying something different. Yeah, Ali, just give me a second. I, I have a, I have a delivery in my door. Give me a second, please. Yes, yes of course.
That's that's horrible. Well, that's actually shocking. All right, guys, do you do you hear me? I think people in the in the chat they did not hear me for for a little bit of time. Uh, am I heard, guys? I hope they hear me now. Yeah. Uh, uh, anyway, uh, Ali, I think I think you as a person, you have to make uh, a decision, and the decision is very uh, simple. Mm -hmm. Either you know, uh, either you say, you, you already you decide to leave Islam. Yes, I did. Okay. Um, no, I'm even more sure about it. Yeah. Well, so as long as you decide to leave Islam and. I cannot really, I mean, I cannot say to you more than I would love to invite you to accept the Messiah as your savior. There is no better than him, no better teaching, love your enemy, be merciful to them, and his miracles speak of him. He did not, he's not a person who made speeches, he is a person who did things nobody can do. So mm -hmm. if, if the name of the Messiah alone is not enough, his work is enough. What the Messiah said from their fruits you shall know them and I will practice that on the Messiah himself from his fruit you shall know him the fruit of the Messiah is beyond beautiful beyond powerful beyond amazing so why we will not accept him yes all right but um, what 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 actually is necessary to be a Christian like you just have to believe in Jesus and follow what he did? The first thing is to believe and then the believe. Hello? You hear me? Hello? Yes, I hear you now. Yes. Yeah. You see, what the Bible says, uh, faith without fruits is a dead faith. But it's mm -hmm. not your fruits will save you. It's your faith. But because you have faith in the Messiah, then your life will change and you will have a fruit different from the fruit as a person who is a Muslim. So to be saved is to have faith. And if you are truly faithful, then you will give a fruit. You know what I mean? Yes. It's like there's a tree and this tree says, okay, I am a good tree, but this tree does not give a fruit. Obviously, there's something wrong with this tree. Because this tree is made to give a fruit. It's a fruity tree. So the second you became a believer, and you are a true believer, not fake, and then you will have a fruit. And you will be known by the Messiah, by your fruits, not by your name. My name is a Christian prince, but who said I'm a Christian? Maybe I'm not. Yes. Right? The fruits will judge. So the Messiah, he will know you by your fruits. And how the fruit happen if you have a true faith. So having a true faith will lead you to the good fruits to do. So you have the mm -hmm. true faith in the Messiah, you believe in him, and don't worry, he will guide you. And even if I, for example, can't say it with my tongue in front of people, it's not a problem, right? Like, I mean, it will be very hard in the beginning to to how to say it, to we announce this. I understand. But we as a Christian, we have to be truthful and we, we don't practice taqiyya. Yes. You yes. know what I mean? I know. So, um, you do not need to go in the street and say I'm a Christian and I don't, don't be crazy, but uh, you should not deny your faith if you have faith. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, you will be a liar. Okay, yes, you're right. The Messiah, he don't accept such a thing. The one who deny me, I deny him. So, I, me, myself, I will never deny him. Mm -hmm. you know? No, you're right. If, if he is, you shouldn't deny the truth. Yeah. So, uh, uh, be smart. The, the Messiah, he said, be smart. You know and be peaceful in the same time so be wise and be smart and be peaceful so being a smart does not mean being a liar like the muslim practice in taqiyya so mm -hmm. if something will bring you a problem try to avoid maybe not to mention it but you cannot deny the mm -hmm. messiah yeah. yes you are it. Yeah. so what do you think ali do you like to 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 accept the messiah as your personal savior mm. I accept. I mean to that. Hallelujah. We have our friend. Now he became our brother. Ali, he called me as a Muslim. And now he is accepting the Messiah as a savior. So my friend Ali, I want you to pray with me. Please pray and make it from your heart. Say, my Lord, the Messiah, I give myself to you. I need your help. I need your guidance. 
I want you to guide me to direct me I want you to be my Lord from all my heart I want you to be the light of my life I don't want to be alone ever again be my Lord you said knock at my door and I will open for you and today I did knock at your door Ali my friend I am happy for you the Bible said thank you very much the Bible said there's a happiness in the kingdom of God for one soul is saved and this is what we have now in the kingdom of God our father he accepts you and I assure you that and by his name I pray for your protection for your life for your family even your Muslim family we pray for them to be good happy and living in peace not only you and we pray for all the Muslims anything you want to say Ali the mic is yours um, I just want to say um, just my last words to you CP because um, without you um, all this wouldn't be possible I'm watching your videos for many months and without you it wouldn't be possible that I accept Christ today so um, I just want to say thank you very much and I hope I can talk to you soon again you will thank come. you and much. Ali if you want you can bring your family if they want to talk to me even in private I have no problem okay if thank you very much. I will try like talk, because there's many people they like you know I talk to them in private because they are shy yeah. or you know there's danger or whatever you know so yeah. even if your family want to talk to me in the private you can call me but just tell me in, like uh, so I can set a time and I will be happy yeah. to speak to your family okay thank you very much if you really I, I, I try to pray as a Christian for you thank you very much thank you my friend and may the Lord bless you and I ask all the all the Christians who they are listening to pray to our brother Ali to have a to have a, a, a good life and to have a good relationship with the Lord and he will never deny him by any way, by any mean. Thank you, Ali, and take care. Thank you very much. Thank you. Bye. Bye. As you see, the Lord, he do amazing things. And it's not me who help you. You help yourself, and the Lord, he help you. I'm just a person sharing some knowledge, little tiny knowledge with you. I am no one. 